Hi traders, this should be a very interesting day. Why? Because Tesla is gaping down today 1.2% and look at ZM, it's down 1% too. So both of them are gaping down and they're gaping down when the market is actually gaping up today. Now take a look at the daily. Here's Tesla and now moving to ZM's daily. Both of them are way overextended to the upside. I was waiting for this day. I was waiting for the day that I could short Tesla and ZM because they pulled up too much from the lows. This is of course the Corona crash low and now they're coming up but they came up way too much. So both of them should come down in my opinion today especially when I look at the market and I see the market moving up and Tesla and ZM gapping down. So I'm looking for a short opportunity in both. Now take a look at the S&P. Here's the S&P. It's up not much but it's a small gap up but at the same time when the S&P is gapping up and Tesla and ZM are gapping down well that should be something interesting and now of course if the market the S&P 500 is going to come down now as it should because it should move into the gap then both of them should come down. Now I never short a stock unless it pulls back up first. Now take a look at ZM here. ZM is moving down now. There's no shorting opportunity. There are absolutely no short trip competitor. You don't just, uh, you know, chase it down as it moves slower. You never know when the pullback is going to happen. Look at uh, Tesla, for example. Tesla is great because it's moving up. So I can start planning my short opportunity in Tesla in case it comes down because it's supposed to fail. It's supposed to gap and go down because it started down and because the market now is pushing down a bit into the gap. Now ZM... I may not have a trade in ZM. If it's going to continue coming down the way it is, I may not have the trade in ZM. It has to move over 152 here in order for, to, for me to find a trade. But uh, look at Tesla. Tesla is moving up. That's great. I'm starting to plan my trade in Tesla and ZM is moving up. Great, great, great. I'm going to have trades in both. Okay, look at Tesla. I'm looking for a reversal. A reversal here in Tesla would mean that it fails to move higher and it's very, very likely to come down and move under the lows. So I'm getting ready to short Tesla. It's failing. You could think that this fail, failure here is just a pullback from the highs and it's going to continue higher, but no, it started with a gap down and now the market's coming down and I'm getting ready to short. I think I missed the right opportunity. Now it's under the lows. I'm shorting. I should have shorted it a bit higher. Should have shorted it a bit higher. But I do like the way it comes down and look at it moves. I shorted 4,000 shares. I'm already up two points, almost $8,000. Same time waiting for ZM to come down. This is very, very volatile times now. You can see that uh, Tesla came down under the lows, pulled back up, but it's okay. It should continue coming down. Oh, I don't like this pullback in Tesla. Back to red. Back to green. <laughs> Two points, almost three points, three points. ZM, getting ready to short ZM. Getting ready to short ZM. It moved up. Again, never ever chase them, never ever chase them down. I'm short ZM, just shorted 8,000 shares in ZM. First few minutes, we're just into the trading session, like uh, three minutes into the trading session or so. Look at Tesla, I'm up 10 grand, 12 grand. Come on ZM, come on ZM, break down. Tesla is breaking down, up $15,000. Come on, Tesla. Come on. ZM a small pullback. I do expect both to come down. And again, look at the daily again. If you want to see, if you want to understand this trade, you need to look at the daily. There's a lot of pressure on the daily because these stocks moved up too much. This should be the day where they pull back down. Profit taking. That's it. Not much more than this. Both of them are very, very strong. But I was waiting for this day. Oh, look at Tesla, $27,000 and going getting ready for my partial in Tesla, getting ready, getting ready, any sign of a pullback, about to press the button on any sign of a pullback. I think it's coming. Now, took my partial in Tesla, beautiful trade. I've got ZM going, but not enough, did not reach my target yet. Well, ZM's playing in between uh, green and red all times, and uh, it's very, very volatile right now. As you can see, I'm moving in between green and red here. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more push. The lows is 148. That's a whole number. You often find a lot of support at whole numbers. People love to buy at whole numbers. So you expect a lot of people to just post orders at whole numbers 148. But here we go. We are approaching it now. If we're going to touch it once more, we're probably going to go through. And we are getting close to the lows once more. I'm up $8,000. 
That's one point and <laughs> here comes the breakdown. Look at this, $16,000 and going. Come on, come on, come on. About to cover now, cover now. Well, that was my second trade. Both the ZM and Tesla worked out fine. Well, that's a great start for my trading session today. And just six minutes into the trading session, $32,800, another $3,000 uh, something open, over $35,000. What a, what a great start. What, what you need to remember from this is that um, when you plan a trade, you always look at the daily. You always look at the daily to understand you look at the daily to understand where's the money, where's the pressure, who's buying, who's selling. You see that on the daily. And when a stock like ZM and uh, Tesla both gap down with the markets gapping up, you know, it's under pressure. That's pre-market pressure. So let them move up a bit. If they don't move up, you don't show them. You don't chase them down. You just wait for a pullback. Looks like they're going to fail moving higher and then just click on the button because again, you look at the market, the market's gapping up, it's likely to move into the gap. Well, you've got everything working on the same direction and then that's what turns it to a great trade. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. Traded has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.